Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and I am a mama with a budget. So thank you for joining me in today's video where I will be doing a paycheck one estimate. So I don't have my pay in yet. Um, it is purely just an estimate just to see what I may have left over that I can work with this month. Um, or for this pay, I should say, this fortnight. Uh, so I haven't done my budget yet. I'm going to be doing that this afternoon. Nope, not my check neither. Sorry, I took my little tabbies out. Um, so you'll see that I had already gotten started um, filling in this paycheck review estimate check-in thing. Um, and I wasn't going to film it because I made a boo-boo when I was printing out my sticker sheets. So I cut them out. So I printed the sheet and then closed the file before I cut it, <laughs> before I could get my cutting machine to cut it. So then I was like, oh, for God's sake. Um, so I had to literally, luckily they're all squares. So I went through and hand cut from, with a guillotine cut. So the lines are a bit wonky. Some are a bit bigger than what they should be. And I thought, well, I'm not going to film it because I stuffed up. And I thought, you know what? It's, it's the real world. I make a lot of mistakes. So I thought my mistake shouldn't hinder me from making this video. So I have done so many of these in the past. This would be the fourth one I've done in the past of in this planner but every single time I stuff it up <laughs> so I film it and then as I'm going back later I go oh that's wrong oh that's wrong oh that's wrong <laughs> so I'm like, first start I'm gonna try and get it done this month and do it without making any mistakes <laughs> so you may see me flipping back and forth between this month and August to try and make sure I don't stuff it up <laughs> so I've already laid out my estimate for paycheck one so for paycheck one we will be covering, sorry, I took the tabs out. So paycheck one will be coming in on the 13th. So that will cover this and this week because again, Michael's already been paid. So that falls under my week one, which falls into week two of September, if that hopefully isn't too confusing. Um, so Michael pays me for his side of the bills um, every Tuesday. So that is doubled what he would normally pay towards. Um, so it may be a little bit harder getting these <laughs> on the page. Um, so let's jump into it. <laughs> so first one off is expenses. Oh, that was an easy one, thank goodness. So hopefully, yeah, see look, these normally fit in perfect with the lines because that's how I designed them but nah, these are going to be all off <laughs> well, at least that lined up perfectly but, uh, the reason why it why they're a little bit misshapen is because when I cut mine I have a border uh, sort of like an extension of what the sticker should be so that should it be off cut it's not going to have white lines everywhere so I just like to do it that way so first off for paycheck one so again I'm just going to flick back through just to make sure that I don't miss anything so rent is going to be first then utilities so when I say utilities I'm referring to water gas and electricity so I have two different providers for those three items but I like to lump them in together because I use Different companies use call them different things, but it's like bill smoothing, I think is what my company calls it, where you just pay a set amount every fortnight, week, month, whatever frequency you set it to, and then it goes towards your bills. And then so say through winter, um, if your gas is higher than what your electricity is, you know, you'll start to accrue a credit. Um, as opposed to you know it falling behind and if it does fall behind too far then it will um, increase what your minimum repayment has to be with one second I'm just going to turn the heater off here we go because I know you'd probably be able to hear it <laughs> in the background I think I did it in one video once and oh, it drove me nuts hearing it and I couldn't exactly get rid of it <laughs> even though I tried. All right, so internet. Um, so ambulance will be coming out of this pay. So I allocate $10 a month um, towards our ambulance membership. 
Um, so that would be it for, so I sort of do house fixed, then house variable, then personal fixed, and then if there's any personal variable. Um, so grocery, so these are going to start getting bigger going forward because we're going to be having daycare fees, out of school hours, care fees and things like that when I go back to work, fuel, tolls, all that sort of stuff. So great, can't wait for that. <laughs> fuel, uh, car insurance. And I'm just going to check back to see what's coming up. So car loan, my phone bill. Oh, my phone bill. I'll need to make sure I've... I've already paid that, though. That's okay. Um, OneDrive. Yep, no, we're good. Yep, we're good. Um, so that's it for expenses. So rent for this fortnight... Yeah. Uh, is going to be 860 uh, utilities is going to be 145 internet so we pay 104 a month so it'll be 52.50 oh sorry 52.05 what did I put 05 for oh well it doesn't matter um, ambulance uh, grocery will be three f no it'll be 700 this is where I always make a mistake this is what stuffs me up every time when I've done it previously. So, no, I don't have any whiteout left. So, this is 700 for grocery, 130 for pets. And uh, then I'm going to put 20 bucks worth of fuel in my car. And then my car insurance will be 89 something or other. So, I might just pop. No, it's like 89.02 for my car insurance. So that's house and uh, personal expenses. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the little, there we go. Beautiful. So they're the set expenses. I think I'm going to end up having to roll over onto another page. So I think... Perfect. And so the next one should be debts. Yep. It's funny. I stare at these all day long. Well, not all day long, but I stare at these for so long. Going into, wait, uh, where are we? What's that? Savings. Debts. Perfect. So I'm trying to convince Michael to let me manage his money. <laughs> Try. <laughs> See how we go. He's starting to come around to the idea. Because, again, I he's doing a lot better with managing his own money. But, oh, geez, how thick is that one? Ugh. Um, but, again, he's still not great. <laughs> so I'll keep on him about letting me help him. So see how we go. I initially said, well, look, let's see how it looks on paper when I go back to work once I have my own proper pay come back in. Because ever since the tax change, I don't know what my take-home pay would be. So I want to sort of see how we go. And then obviously, because he's got more debt than I do, so it may work against me doing it that way. Um, so see how we go. <laughs> um, car loan, personal, that's it. I don't have any others. I don't have any afterpays. I don't have any Klarna's, any sort of that sort of stuff. So that's awesome. So debts is done. Oh, I want to show you what I made. Actually, give me one sec once I pop this down. I created this whole page sticker that I'm going to, where is it? There. How cool is that? It's like a tracker. Um, so every so initially I did it where it was a thousand dollars. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm like? I like coloring stuff in. <laughs> so I love I wanted more visual trackers in my in my diary, in my planner. So each space is five hundred dollars. So this here, uh, I based it off um, last month's total. Be 
between $40,033.13. So there's $40,000 worth of squares in here. So I wanted to start doing that. And then I might change the color on the year. I mean, I'm starting late this year, but that doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I want to start doing this. So I thought this would be really cool to do. So that will start popping up at the, <laughs> the end of month wrap up videos. Uh, total. And then all we've got left is savings. Actually, we should fit the page. Oh, come on. It's like threading a needle. There we go. It's like when you're trying to put the needle, thread the... Ugh. When you're trying to um, thread the string through the eye of the needle, <laughs> you just go over and over and over trying to get it in. Uh, so savings. So the only one that we're going to track on here um, is emergency. Because the rest goes towards sinking funds. Because I decided I didn't want to have all the extra ones like I did in the previous. Where are we? Told you, a lot of back and forth this time. So I had Keeleys and sinking funds and Jacksons and Levi's and all that sort of stuff. So I don't want to do that going forward. I just want to leave it as is because this is the paycheck. This is the stuff that has to come out and the rest of it is just a bonus to stuff with it. So I, I'm not going to be doing that going forward. So I might put, oh, there it is totals so I'm just going to leave emergency because at the moment emergency as you would know if you've seen in my previous videos is currently tied up um, with my sister's hens party with deposits and things so once that gets paid out uh, and paid off um, I'll be able to know what I've actually got left out of it <laughs> which I don't think I'm going to have as much as what I hope to have I've had a few people pull out Oh, so I'm actually a little stressed about meeting the minimums. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Um, there we go. Pop that down the bottom. And then pretty much whatever's left will be what I get to play with. So between um, my sister's birthday and Keely going back to daycare, um, that's pretty much what the majority of my money is going to be going towards in this pay and probably next pay as well. Because the next pay, because I go back to work um, on, well, it's off this page. It's in October. So I go back to work on the 8th of October. So I will have this pay and next pay before we go back to work, before I go back to work. So I want to try and get a little bit ahead um, just to see what I can put aside after I put funds away for specific things. So I did leave other open. Um, I think it's about $60 in Etsy at the moment. So I'm estimating $60 of Etsy, which that money is going to go straight towards my sister's birthday. Uh, so her birthday is on the 23rd. So um, I need $140 for her gift of what I'm giving her for her birthday, which she already knows what it is. Um, yeah, so I need to make sure I've got enough money for that because um, luckily I can pay cash on the day. Um, but yeah, so let's see how we go with this. So estimated, and then once my pay comes in later today, you'll be able to see, I'll be able to fill this back in of what's left. Um, where's my calculator? Oh, there you are. They're all bubbling. Not bubbling, but they're... Because they're not even. Anyway, it's okay, Jamie. <laughs> 15996 plus 992 plus 60 means for this fortnight should be $2,651.60. Uh, so for the bill, so we've got 860 plus 145, 5, plus 10 plus 700, plus 130, to 8902. Uh, so we have $2,006.07. Um, uh, 
350 plus 64 means for debt I have 414. So that means 2651 plus 6, take away $2,006.07, take away 414 means I should have 231.53. I feel like I'm missing something though. What am I missing? Let me just go back because I know sometimes I leave notes for myself. Uh, fuel car, phone. Phone's already been paid. Uh, car loan, CBA. Um, as I said, this is where I, I seem to go wrong. I always seem to miss something and then I do a panic because I'm trying to make it work and then I stuff up and then it makes it useless for me to show to you because it's inaccurate I think I'm good I think I've captured everything so that's sort of everything that needs to be paid I'm trying to think if there's any other bills that I have like I've got my Weight Watchers subscription so that comes out later in the month so that'll be covered by the next pay next pay will cover my phone bill Unless, of course, I factor in half. No, it's fine. Just leave it. Um, okay, I think that's right. So then estimate. So emergency. I'm gonna, not going to pop anything in this month. In this pay. Um, so emergency. Let's leave that there. Does that mean the balance should be 231.53? Okay, so that means, so going by that, if I do that, I will have 140 going towards that. So that means I'll have $91 to put towards my half of Killy going back to daycare. Which, let me see if I can work it out. Give me one second. Um times five no hang on um so one uh, age no oh, that's wrong okay i'm gonna have to work that off off camera i was trying to work out what day keely's daycare fees were and it's not commuting it's not working in my brain my brain's too busy um all right so again that's just the estimate so we've got this much left over um, which will help pay towards my sister's birthday. Plus, I've already got some funds in there to go towards her birthday as well. So that's going to help out. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that's what we should have left over. So once my pay goes in, I'll be able to work out if I was correct or if I've made a big boo-boo again. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Alrighty, guys. Thank you for joining me for Paycheck 1 uh, for September. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.